Hello and welcome to the AI Machine channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up stability matrix, download some base models from Hugging Face, and how to use automatic 1111 to generate AI images locally. First, we need to install Stability Matrix, which provides a multi-platform package manager for stable diffusion. Head on over to Lakos.ai Download the latest from here and browse their information or click the GitHub link above. And drop into the GitHub. Scroll down, and there you can find the Windows, Linux, and Mac OS installers. Download one of the installers such the Windows Save. I do believe it will ask you for permission, so you'll have to give it the more info and click Run Anyway under Windows. But once you have that installed, you should have a GUI similar to this. Maybe won't have any packages already in here, this is where add a package will be, and all of the GUIs we can install, we will be doing automatic 1111. But first, let's go to the checkpoints. Area. And grab the models folder. Path. So that should open up your Explore window and Windows. Jump into the Stable Diffusion folder, come up here and copy this path cause this will be for our downloading in just a second. So now that that's copied into your clipboard, let's jump back over to the browser, pay a visit to Hugging Face, and grab the Stable Diffusion Excel Base 1.0, links should be in the description. Scroll down, take a look at all the good info. Why we're gonna mess with the base and the refiner, or just the base, it's still, these have made quite the improvement since. These right here. Click files and versions, scroll down, we're gonna grab the save tensos, base 1.0 volt E and the base 1.0. Click the arrow on the right. Go up in the path and paste that path we just copied and hit save, and that will save those into the right directory for stability matrix. Scroll back up to the model car. Scroll down under the infographic and let's click the refiner link. Once on the refiner page we can go to the files and versions. Scroll down and we want to grab the Excel Refiner 1.0 Vi version and the base version. Same process, click the arrow on the right. Download paste that path that we just saved. And save. That should have the refiner and the base images in the proper directory for stability matrix. Could jump back to stability matrix. Move around in the navigation bar a little bit to refresh and you should see the models in your stable diffusion directory here refiners, refiners and the base. Now, you will add more at later times, but hopefully you have the basis that we just downloaded. Go to Packages. Add Package. Stable Diffusion Web UI by Automatic 1111 version 1 1.6, click Install. This could take 5, 10, 15 minutes depending on your internet connection and or your hardware. Hopefully you're running a GPU with at least 8 GB of VRAM or more. There are ways around that, but it's it's always nice to have more VRAM on your GPU when you're doing this kind of local AI image rendering.
All right, and after that gets installed, you should have a window box like this under the packages section. And we're gonna click launch. I have already clicked launch. It loads up into the terminal launch window so you can see everything loading and making sure all the dependencies. If there was any errors, you would see messages here. And it's an easy way to stop it if you need to stop it. And launch options are under this little gear icon. Let's jump back to the browser window where I should have a stable diffusion already running. This is right after launch. I haven't adjusted anything so that I could show you that. Now you want to click the refresh up here on the stable diffusion checkpoint. Click the drop down. Grab the base 1.0 that we just downloaded. We can load the refiner as well. Refresh, click the drop down, grab the Pi Refiner. And the next most important thing is setting your resolution to 1024 by 1024. That is the base minimum recommended for the Excel models. Now let's run a simple prompt. Sure, why not? Cat riding a skateboard generate. And with any luck, we'll get something to pop up with the exception of it pausing around 75% when the refiner kicks in because it's set at 8, so about 80%, and refiner kicks in and does its little refining with Vi, which is a variable autoencoder that kind of flushes out the colors and refines, makes, makes things a little bit more finish, you might say polish. And there we go. We've got a little cat on a skateboard. Let's see if he has all of his legs. That's been my problem, is. Sometimes they get all their legs, sometimes they don't, but he is a cat on a skateboard. Now we can go back to the Civit AI browser. Go into the model browser. And this is where you'll be able to grab, grab Civit AI models and things that come out and load them into the directory. We've already got the juggernaut. And a few other ones pulled in, but that's what's nice. You can manage all of your checkpoints and models in here. Plus, you know, there's a nice filter to go, you know, get the most popular ones over the year or the most popular ones over the week, older models if you want checkpoints, Loris textural inversions. And so on. So with that, I could quickly go up here and change the model to a Juggernaut version 3. You can also change samplers. The DPM++ 2 meters Caras is kind of the recommended right now. And we'll go ahead and run this very simple basic prompt under the Juggernaut model. And that kind of wraps up for the basics of how to get things running on automatic 1111, how to have stability matrix provide the multi-platform package support and unified directory and civic AI browser integration.
These icons down below here are ways for you can get to the directory the images are being saved at, save to a particular directory, put it in a zip file, or use the other tabs and functionality of automatic 1111, which in the next couple of videos I will try to break down, this is already probably gone on way too long for a basic video, but with that, let me know if there are any other topics you'd like covered on the AI Machine channel, and we'll try to get some new videos out with some more automatic 11.11 tips and tricks. Until then, see you in the next one.